I've got a science themed t-shirt, Arduino socks. I think I'm ready to present this, so let's get started. Hey guys, if you follow me on social media, you probably heard that I am participating in STEM Ambassadors Outreach through my work and I teach robotics in a local college. Which is super exciting and scary. I mean, dealing with kids is always scary. And since my mum is a teacher, I knew exactly how that looks like from the other side. Maybe that was the reason why I never get into it properly. It is super rewarding, but it comes with several things that you have to overcome to manage the class, manage the attention, and basically make sure that everyone is having a good time, including you. And I'm starting with this story to give you a foundation of what is my perspective and what I'm going to really appreciate about the latest release from Arduino. Arduino has released Arduino Plug and Make Kit, which is on the table right now. And it's absolutely adorable for many different reasons. My excitement is even bigger thanks to the personal connection with Arduino kits because many, many moons ago I received Arduino kits with sensor as a part of Instructable reward for a challenge and essentially that's what got Not Enough Tech started. Prior to that I had no experience in coding, programming, microcontrollers or electronics whatsoever and now, well, I still have a little experience, but somehow I'm managing a YouTube channel and a full-time robotics engineering career. So what is Arduino Plug and Make kit and what's so special about it? It's very tempting to look at it and just assume it's yet another Arduino kit with some sensors thrown in as afterthought. But keep on watching this video and I'll prove it otherwise, especially if you're a STEM educator or a teacher, this kit might be worth your money. So what you get is a Arduino Uno R4. This is the latest Arduino Uno board that this time around brings faster processing and Wi-Fi, so you can not only start playing with microcontrollers and servos, but also make them IoT enabled, meaning they're connected to the internet. And that brings yet another level of fun. And when the boards were released one year ago, all the focus was on the faster CPU and the Wi-Fi integrated on it, and this little beautiful LED matrix that you can use to display random data. But no one really focused on the small JST 4-pin connector called Quick. At least I hope this is how it's pronounced. And if you look up official documentation, you will quickly realize that this connector is being used to interface with I2C devices, which is super handy because they come with the tons of benefits. If you worked with Arduino boards before, you're probably asking yourself, yes, but there is already I2C interface on the board. What's so special about this one and what's so different? And this is where the story from the beginning of my video comes to play because during my first class I realized that I'm in a world of trouble because I'm dealing with different kids with different skill sets and levels when it comes to uh, building robots or programming. At this point I was battling with kids' attention span, the ability to manipulate small objects and connect everything according to instructions, which often resulted in me jumping from one station to another helping them out and sometimes mitigating problems before they affect sensors and just sometimes collecting broken sensors that were connected incorrectly and trying to figure out if I've got spares. If you have any teaching experience, you probably already know this and I'm preaching to the choir here, but having different groups in one class at the different stages of the project is something very undesirable. And this is where this shines because Arduino kit comes with Modulino boards. What are Modulino boards? I've mentioned that I2C, JST, uh, polarized connector uh, before for a reason. Each sensor board exists as its own little board, which has two uh, quick connectors. That allows for two things. First of all, you'll be able to interface them easily with Arduino Uno R4. Since the connectors are polarized, there is absolutely no way of connecting this incorrectly and damaging the board, which is a plus. And as it uses I2C to speak to individual boards, you can actually daisy chain them to up to, I guess the limit was around 50 and the entire setup was only limited by how much power you can deliver by USB Type-C cable. And all of that without the need of breadboarding. But we're gonna come back to breadboards in a second. So what you're getting in a kit is Arduino Uno 
R4. There's also this beautiful yellow PCB to which you can mount your sensor boards and your Arduino boards. They all have mounting holes. And you have seven different sensor boards to connect to your Arduino and start learning how to use them. Obviously, the kit comes with all the cables and fittings required to uh, assemble this board. There are standoffs, some screws. Once you take a closer look at each individual Modulino board, you're going to notice a couple of other things. First of all, the I2C uh, protocol is also broken uh, out through, through holes. So you will be able to solder some uh, pins and actually the pitch of these true holes is exactly the same as on the breadboard. So you are not limited to interfacing with them through the quick connector. And thanks to the mounting holes, which are in the corner of each board, you will be able to utilize these boards in your prototyping projects as well, because it's going to be so much easier to mount them. Those holes are pitched uh, 16 and 32 millimeters apart, uh, which is also uh, the pitch of the boards on the yellow PCB. This isn't everything because on the opposing side of each board, you also have additional pins broken out. And depending on what modules you're dealing with, you'll have additional access to protocols like UART, additional interrupts or SPI. This is sensor dependent, so not all of the sensor board have the same number of those special uh, pins. So what are the Modulino boards included in a set? Without any particular order, we have a knob, so it's a rotary encoder with a button. Modulino buttons, which contains three typical push buttons, and each button comes with an associated LED that you can also trigger. There is a buzzer that you can use it to make various sounds. That's Modulino buzzer. On Modulino Thermo, you can take advantage of embedded temperature and humidity sensor and get the readings from that. On Modulino Pixels, you have eight individually addressable RGB LEDs to visualize your data and create fun animations. There is also a distance sensor on Modulino Distance that utilizes time for soft flight to uh, define a distance of the object in front of it. And lastly, we have a Modulino Movement, which contains a gyro IC that will generate information about, well, moving the board around and in three axes. To assemble your plug and make kit, it takes approximately about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how handy you are with the tools. You can secure each Modulino board with two uh, bolts to fix it in a place and connect it with cables to the quick interface between Arduino board and individual Modulino boards. If I could name only one complaint about it, it would be just the length of the cable. I wish they included a single longer cable so I could make that connection happen a little bit more easily. Another quick tip I've got for you is about using uh, I2C on Arduino Uno R4. Because that quick connector is the second set of pins for I2C, uh, if you're going to use Arduino IDE to connect to individual boards, like you normally would, uh, you will have to create a new object, which means that in this case, if you want to make sure that Arduino is using the quick connector instead of dedicating the uh, libraries and uh, I2C uh, interface to the pins in the header, you'll have to create a new object. So in your code, use something like, for example, wire one in your code instead of wire to refer to that interface. But this is only applicable if you're using Arduino IDE and you're going bare bone without utilizing dedicated Modulino library for these boards. I've mentioned that the new hardware isn't the only new thing. New is also the approach to learning because this kit isn't just a hardware kit. This is a educational set that, well, brings a lot of value from hardware and the um, entire course provided for this startup kit. You absolutely can take the board, take the existing libraries, figure out components numbers, and do everything without the course, just like you would with any other Arduino setups. But this kit allows you to uh, learn in such an easy manner. Now, this is all thanks to the Arduino uh, course, which relies on you having this board. There is a five hour course designed around this hardware and integrated so nicely that it makes learning about these boards and uh, going through exercises a breeze. 
you'll have to create Arduino account, but don't be put off by this because the learning experience is simply awesome. One of the benefits of Modulino boards having permanent I2C address is the fact that you can actually recognize what boards are being connected throughout the course. And as soon as you load the course in your web browser, connect your Arduino R4 to the internet and link it with your account, tutorials will actually prompt you to connect correct Modulino boards to perform the lessons and verify that these boards are actually connected. It's a lifesaver when it comes to working with the kids like that with kids and trying to use those kids to teach someone else. From there, the experience just gets better. You can start by simply having a quick look at different scripts and figuring out what is possible with each individual board and just have fun, just to get excited about the hardware in hands, which is often uh, a struggle if you can't get the code to work. And instead of just doing it more traditional way in which you will copy and paste the sample code to the um, ID and then compile it and then send it to it's, it's easier to click on a button and verify what's happened on the screen and get a live feedback from your web interface. Each project, which is a part of course, is available as a separate template that you can play with. You can install it on your Arduino Uno with a single press of a button and it will install all the dependencies, check if the boards are connected and walk you through the process. And then you'll be able to access the project settings where you can access the online dashboards for your IoT elements of the project, where you can access the script, variable and modify everything you want about this project. In addition to that, you've got more typical documentation which breaks down the projects into parts, describes what the code is doing line by line, and even enables you to add more Modulino boards to the project, making it bigger in scope. The best thing about it is that at any given time you can jump back and forth between interfacing via USB uh, cable and COM port on your computer and OTA updates instead. And although this course doesn't come with all the beginner's basic stuff, so you'll have to know a little bit about the programming, Arduino already have courses that covers the programming for beginners, and you'll be able to reach out for that if you don't understand something. Being able to do all of that without installing something on the computer or sometimes just performing all those operations by Wi-Fi instead of the cable is a godsend for anyone that had anything to do in education systems where computers are always locked off and they require a special IT setup before you even start a lesson. Something I have experienced firsthand and I understand how convenient this is. Unfortunately, as with usually good things, this comes at a price. But don't switch off just yet because there is a free tier that allows you to manage up to two projects and give you a fair allowance to try things out without feeling that you really, really need to spend the money. And alternatively, looking at the cost of uh, Arduino cloud support, it's not terribly expensive with a uh, support package starting from like two pounds a month, which is, I think, reasonable. There are even greater discounts for schools and businesses. So if you're doing that as a part of your lesson, you're gonna get even more value for your money. But the restrictions available in the free plans aren't a deal breaker because you're just limited to two projects at any given time and the limit of uh, times per day you can upload your code via OTA. The best and the most flexible thing about it is that you're not locked to Arduino Cloud either. You can still access everything using Arduino IDE load the Arduino libraries in there and start interfacing this way as you would in more traditional way, just like we were doing it for the last couple of years. Once I went through some projects and tried to figure out what's possible and what's not, I decided to try to create something by myself and see how complicated that would be. My first idea was to create a nice timer that uses the pixel boards and knob to create like a countdown timer, but that was already taken. They already came up with this, so I had to figure out something else. My second idea was to create a very crude uh, spirit level using buttons, pixels, and uh, uh, movement sensor on the Modulino board. And honestly, after trying individual modules at first, it took me approximately 45 minutes to one hour to figure out all my mistakes and get it to work online. I was using Arduino Cloud 
And I kind of got it to work where I can just simply press different buttons corresponding with different axes on my movement module in the board, then change the pixel color depending on which axis I'm uh, working with. And as I change and rotate the board, the pixels basically try to show you how much of the zero point you are. The code probably needs some improvements and I'm sure after a couple of hours with these, you'll be able to make such a better version of it. But after giving it a go, I honestly had a lot of fun troubleshooting this and working with Arduino Cloud was super fun. To wrap this up, we need to talk about pricing. I'm going to give you a price straight away. It's 78 euros. And I know what you're gonna say, but wait a minute, I should just go online, get similar sensors that interface with the breadboard for much cheaper. Yes, you can, but there are a couple of reasons why you would be missing out. This isn't just the hardware, you're paying for the course, you're paying for the access to the Arduino cloud and community. And those things alone, if you look at this as a cost per course rather than a cost per associated hardware, suddenly it's a much better value proposal. And if you already work with kids, I don't think I have to justify how much of a good of a value this kid is uh, to get them started and get them interested in coding microcontrollers and electronics. So big thanks to Arduino for sending this to me so I could get excited and play with it, but even bigger thanks to them for taking its time to make sure this is something that educators would be particularly interested and they could use it in the lessons because it's absolutely worth it. If you previously weren't sure where to start your journey into microcontrollers, programming, IoT, and even automation, well, take it from me. A kit like that enabled my YouTube career and career in industrial automation without previous experience. And that is a stellar recommendation. Right, guys, I do not have a posting schedule. If you want to know what's next, well, there's only one way to find out, right? Use the YouTube tools provided. There is a several uh, social media accounts linked on the screen right now. Hit me up on there, say what you think, or suggest something I should look into, and I'll try really, really hard. Big thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. There's a fly in here that annoys me. There it is. I'm, good. I'm sorry, I need to go and commit an assassination. Die! It's done.